Hi everyone, welcome to Moments of Grace. Now, <laughs> yes, I am in my craft room and every time you see a graphic to you guys, know that I'm getting ready to DIY because this is why I wear them because it's so easy to identify. I pull, uh, see a graphic, I know that's a DIY uh, t-shirt. So in this video today of Moments of Grace, I decided to talk about the love of God. This is like so, so important, guys, for us to know exactly what that love means. Because people use love or the word love so loosely today that I love you. I love this. I love that. I love my dog. I love my food. I love it's all different type of love. It's not all the same love because you don't love your mom the same way that you would love your husband or your child or a pet. So it's very important that we talk about the love of God. So let's get started. Now, love is a beautiful and profound emotion that has the power to transform lives. It brings joy, comfort, fulfillment, and is often celebrated as one of the greatest gifts that we can ever experience. Now, the love that God has for us has absolutely nothing to do with any works that we might do. God's love is called agape love, and it's a love that just springs from him. It's who he is. It's not what he does, it's who he is. And so he loves us with an unconditional, it's, it just goes way beyond, uh, way beyond that, that description. My love for um, my kids is different than my love for my mom or the love that I have for my pets. As I said earlier, there's different types of love, yet we always go around saying, I love you. I love you. It's so loosely used, and we need to be very careful how we use it. And as you can see here, it's a very profound emotion. God created us with this beautiful emotion so that we can love our families, so that we can love Him in a strong and, and just like profound way. And that is a perfect word, uh, for this is profound. Now in the Bible, love is frequently mentioned and emphasized as a central aspect of God's character and commandments. One notable scripture on love is found in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others or and it's not selfish or self-seeking. It is not easily anchored and it keeps records of no wrong, okay? Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. One thing that is amazing is that as, as you read the scriptures on love, and you understand how much he loves you, once we get that revelation in us, there's nothing in the world that we could ever do to earn his love. He loves us because he is good. He loves us because he himself is love. He is nothing else but love. That's who he is. And so once we start to understand that, we'll start to feel better about our identity in him because we are part of him. Isn't that awesome? That is just such an amazing, amazing thing. And so for the next moments of grace, we'll continue on with God's love. Amen.